Hello and welcome to lesson 2 of Int2 and Higher Computing Computer Systems. This lesson will cover floating point representation. Just some quick revision from the previous lessons. If you are Int2, what are the two advantages of using the binary system? Question 2. Convert the number 56 into binary. And put the following storage terms into ascending order. Kilobyte, gigabyte, megabyte, bit, byte and terabyte. If you are aiming to pass it higher, convert the number 324 into binary. And what is the name given to the system used to show negative numbers in binary? For the third question, what is the binary representation of minus 86? Please feel free to pause until you, have, until you think you have worked out the answers for this one. Answers for the revision questions. The reasons for the use of the binary set system are there are less rules of arithmetic, easy to represent two values, and voltage loss doesn't affect the data. Number 56 in binary is 0011 and 1000. And in ascending order, the storage terms are bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. Higher questions 324 in binary is 101000. 0, 0, 100. The name given to the system used to represent negative numbers is 2's complement, and minus 86 in binary using a 2's complement notation is 1010. Okay, by the end of this lesson, if you are aiming to pass it in 2, you will be able to list storage terms in ascending order, convert to and from bit up to and megabyte, and also back again. Describe what is meant by floating point representation and use and explain the terms mantissa and exponent. In addition to this, higher pre-prolls will be able to list storage terms all the way up to terabyte, also doing conversions from and to, and describe the relationship between the mantissa and exponent of a number and the range or and precision of a floating point number. So what about the other numbers? At the minute we know how to store integers. This is integers, i.e. whole numbers. But what if we want to store real numbers, i.e. numbers with decimal fractions, or even very large numbers? For example, if you're storing this decimal number here, which is approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 420 million, you would actually need 29 bits to store this using the integer representation that we already know. This can be represented as 4.2 times 10 to the 8. Even a small number such as 27.5 needs another way to represent it. This method is called floating point representation. The structure of a floating point or number is as follows. So the mantissa is that part there. The base is, at the minute that's a base 10 number, and the exponent is a small number in superscript there. Now only the mantissa, which is that part here, and the exponent are actually stored. We know the base, okay? So this is what's called as implied. This means that it's known already. If it's not stored, then it will save on memory capacity. So to summarize, in two, in ascending order, you need to be able to recite bit up to gig gigabyte and realize which are smaller and which are larger. You need to remember that eight bits a byte, and after there's eight bits in a byte, you need to remember that to the next level up, there's always 1,024. Now if you convert, to a larger unit, such as megabyte, you should be getting less. So you're looking for division. If you're multiplying from megabyte to kilobyte, i.e. getting smaller, you're looking to have more, so you're looking at multiplication. Flowing point representation is used to represent real numbers. That is numbers with a decimal portion, and they're also used to store very large numbers. So that, you need to be able to have an understanding of what a floating point number looks like when stored as a binary representation. So the number 23.5 could be stored as, so at the minute we have 23 which is there, and 0.5. Now the way the 0.5 is worked out is, as that doubles when it goes up all the time, this halves. So it would be half, then a quarter, then an eighth, then a sixteenth, then a thir 1 over 32. So that's 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, and so on and so on. So, to store this in a computer, we need it in the format, we need the zero point before it, then whatever the mantissa was, and then the exponent. So, what we need to do is, we need this binary point to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five places to the left. So we know that the mantissa is going to be that, because that is just simply that number from there to there. We moved the decimal point to the left five places. So assuming an eight an eight bit or one byte exponent, the exponent would be five. So one bit for the mantissa is up here, we just added a zero on the end so that it's a one byte length. So the final number would be that with exponent just in upper uh, super superscript just to show a bit. So this would use two bytes of storage. If we change the allocation of bytes allowed to represent either the mantis or exponent, then this has an effect on the accuracy and or the range of the numbers. If we increase the mantissa, that means we can uh, more accurately represent numbers such as fractions, because remember the present the placeholder values go from 0.5 to 0.125 to 0 0.0625 and they keep on halving. So if you have more of a mantissa, it means you can represent a more accurate number. This would help to avoid rounding errors. However, if you increase the exponent, it means that you can represent a larger range of numbers by allowing larger exponents. An easy mnemonic for this is the mantissa affects the accuracy and the range is affected by the exponent. So the mnemonic is mer. So if you allocate more storage bits to the mantissa, you increase the accuracy. You can represent a number far more accurate. If you allocate more bits to the exponent, this increases the range of numbers that you could represent. So to summarise, if you increase the amount of bits allocated to the mantissa, you increase the accuracy. If you increase the amount of bits allocated to the exponent in floating point representation, representation you increase the range. And remember, the mnemonic is mere. Mantissa affects accuracy, and the range is affected by exponent.